everybody to let us know w uh hashtag wms big question what is your uh what's your answer to the big question this week uh who's the next daniel bryan who, who do you think is going to take the the crowd and maybe wrestlemania 30 something or other by storm let's go 35 who's going to be up there by 35 i think that's a good number uh john for anybody cena. john it's going to be john, john cena, uh, john cena. I, I, guys, I, have, I have good feelings about this john cena guy yeah yeah he seems like a real up-and-comer uh, I know. Uh, so with that, let's head over. It's what you've been waiting for. Let's be honest. Yes. Nobody wants to hear about Daniel Bryan. Uh, well, uh, well, well. Uh, it's <laughs> it's the Mayhem Mania. It's time. I, I really should have music for it at this point, but it, it, it is on. He is ready. He's got the mini big board. From the makers of the big board comes... The small board. You know what? It's more well, readable. Have a lot of time to prepare tonight. It's honestly more readable somehow. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll stick with this one. But I bet it's going to be awful to make corrections on. Well, I've got yeah, a true. smaller tipped Sharpie tonight. So I'm hoping. <laughs> hey, everybody hey. pick one match, and we all ruin that one match. Matt, the size <laughs> of your tip doesn't matter. Just remember that. Oh. There you go. Mac Harlins, what is the deal this week? What are we doing? What does the what does the landscape look like? Jed, let's do a couple little pieces of house cleaning here first, Sor. Okay. Because I know there's people asking about Daniel Bryan because everything about this show has to do with Daniel Bryan. That's just the way it has to be this week. Um, but people were asking about Daniel Bryan because in previous rounds, actually before the last round, Daniel Bryan was on this card in a match against AJ Styles. Justin Labar made that match. The jerk. And um, no one called him on it because we didn't know. Um, he's just in the bar. He's got it. Um, I, I called him on it. Well, there was not a large enough outcry to make him go back to the drawing board. So, oh, well. So it sat on the uh, Mayhem Mania. It survived a couple of rounds, and then it got evicted um, during round four last week. And people were wondering, well, what would have happened if Daniel Bryan were still on the card and now we're sitting here and we know he's physically unable to, um, to compete, to wrestle because, because John, you see, you see John in mayhem mania, you must operate within the bounds of the current reality. All wrestlers come in their current emotional, financial, physical and contractual position. Um, That's what she you said. have to play by Vince McMahon's rules. So you can't take somebody from Lucha Underground, and you can't make the unhealthy healthy again. So if you want to put Steve Austin on this card, this whole panel is going to call BS because Steve Austin's got a busted neck, and he's never wrestling again. Well, I'm choosing On the, other, well, 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 on the other hand, last year we had multiple instances of super old retired wrestlers like well, Sean Michaels and Rick Flair being put on this card. And I'll tell you why we let that slide, because as heinous as it is that any wrestler was disregard a hallowed retirement stipulation, the space facts, they could do it. It could happen. So we let it slide. So basically it could happen. It's allowed on the card. If it can't happen, it's never happening. It's not allowed on the card. Speak your piece, boys. Okay. Well, why is Hornswoggle on the card? <laughs> That's a great question. Last week, Cause, um, we cause made a terrible mistake. And we, last week, we like, – what? No, he's, he's still employed. No, I think no, – no, I see. I think Riz is fired. I think he's fired. No, I thought he was on suspension. I think he might be suspended. Uh, maybe, I'm maybe. about to Wikipedia Hornswoggle. I believe that <laughs> – um, Guys, guys. It was a short suspension, I think. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I believe that well, I guys, it was fun. I'm going to be out here now. Uh, don't ever call me back. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I checked the official WWE.com roster, and I believe Hornswoggle is still on there. Is he still so on there? Okay. I believe All he right, is. Yeah. So if someone wants to double-check my work, you're welcome to do that. But uh, other than that, anyway, here's the deal. Okay, Mayhem Mania. It's kind of a competitive thought experiment. The goal is to create the best WrestleMania card possible in real life, not necessarily to predict what WWE is going to do. We're going to make it better. It's going to be better than WrestleMania. It's going to be a mayhem mania. Bobby laughed at that. And um, so basically we get eight matches. Um, every week we invite five or six people on, and all six of you will get to make one change to this current 
card. Mm. You can either swap one for one or tag team for tag team between matches. You, for example, you can flip AJ Styles with Enzo, and then we'll get Enzo Amori versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And you can wow. with, um, Colin Cassidy, and that would be – I don't know how that would work. You, you can't tease that one. I think I want to see that now. Um, you could trade out a match entirely, bring in a new match with completely new people, or you can simply add someone who isn't on the card into a match and make it more convoluted than it already is, um, per se, four-way, five-way, six-way, which is kind of looking like the way things are heading on this. Um, John, don't create a battle royal. Everyone will hate you for that. Okay. No 30-minute battle royals. Uh, it's just a little joke. Um, yeah. Oh, this week, Mad Mike is going last. The reason is because here's the thing. Here's the thing. If someone makes a change on this card, and before the round ends, someone comes in and undoes that change and makes their own damn change. For example, um, somewhere around here, um, I don't know, like AJ Styles was wrestling. Uh, Daniel Bryan. And someone came in and said, no, Daniel Bryan's gone. I want Rusev. And then someone came in and said, nah, screw Rusev. I don't want Rusev. I want Nakamura. Well, what about the poor bastard who wanted Rusev? Well, here's what we do. We automatically invite you back. So basically, if your move gets undone before the end of this round, you will be automatically invited back, and you will get the guaranteed last spot in the following round. That way, your next move can't be undone. That's what happened to Mad Mike last week. Matt, we we are calling that officially the Alex Cars. The Alex Cars rule, yeah. Um, (laughs) But here's the thing. I felt like that wasn't quite enough of an incentive for people not to undo other people's moves. Hmm. So I'm adding to the Alex Cars rule, and this will be in concert with the return of the Jar of mid carters. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Side note, I know we know this game has a lot of stipulations. Well, folks. it gets a little this, bit more complicated. This is becoming like, more and more John, like Calvin Ball, and I love it. John, John, are you still with us? Are you with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to soak it all in and, and think. All right. Essentially, all right. Here's the here's the deal. Mad Mike got screwed last week. It was a shame. He's going to get to go dead last this week, so that his move will actually stick. But I don't want it to happen again this week. I don't want moves being undone before the round is even over. So I want everyone to understand that if it happens again, and this is going to be the first week it does happen, Mad Mike, not only do you get to go dead last, you get to decide who will receive the punishment. That's right. Whenever someone has forced to go in last place, they will be the one to administer the punishment, be it the Jar Mid Carters or any of the other wacky punishments that I'm cooking up in my little brain. Man, that, that, is, that, that, is, that is very, very interesting. So hopefully this will help keep you guys in line. Mad Mike, instead of the hands of fate, it will be by your hand that you decide <laughs> which one of these five poor bastards will be forced to draw from the Jar of Mid Carters. Will it be Eamon Payton? Will it be the Riz? Will it be I love you, man. Arza? Will it be our glorious and benevolent overlord, Orgatron? Or will it be new guy, John Fisher? <laughs> new guy. New guy. Well, I, John, I will not saddle you with the jar of mid carters. You are safe. However, all these other fuckers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. It's it just because it'll make the midweek war so much more fun. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. There's two of you. There are two of you. Two people. There's only, there's only one guy who likes here. I was gonna say, <laughs> let's see who likes Bailey more. That would be Eamon. So Garza, guess oh, what? Oh. You get the jar. All right. Okay. 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 Garza, this is gonna be exciting. I can't wait to draw one of these fantastic ten names for you. Okay. Eamon, you are going first. The Riz is on deck. Eamon, while you ponder, I will recap the card for everyone. Samoa Joe versus The Undertaker. Tyler Brought to you Breeze. by Lucha Underground. Brought to you by, by Lucha Underground. Tyler Breeze <laughs> versus William Regal. The New Day versus Enzo and Big Cass. Bailey mm-hmm. versus Becky Lynch versus Sasha versus Char Char. Charlotte. Finn Balor versus Sam. 
Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Dean Ambrose versus Triple H versus Hornswoggle. Just because you didn't want to see somebody in a suit that you normally <laughs> suit hasn't been in a suit. Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles. And Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Luke Harper and Vince McMahon. John, don't ask how that happened. It's just kind of the way the game works. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> Fine. It's good. It's good, right? Um, Amen. John looks very scared, by the way. I, well, you know what? After a few, after four moves, I think he'll have uh, a good idea of what he wants to do this time. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Amen. You're up, pal. Pal. Okay, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, say there's a tag team match on this show. Yeah. Is there a possibility that I can make it a six man tag and mm-hmm. add another teammate to do so? Mm-hmm. I can't let you add one to each side in the same move. I can let you add one to one side, or I can let you add an entire team to make it a three-way tag team match. Let me let me see, tell you if I can do this because I it still would take okay. Because here's my argument: you have it listed as New Day versus Enzo and Cass. You right. have it listed as the whole New Day. You have it listed as the whole New Day, right? This is well, true. Like, like, there's no, there's no clarification. There is no, no clarification cl- to whether it's. There's no. Well, there is a graphic that Im- strongly implies that it would be Kofi and Biggie. But you, you have a point. Also but they do have. They do have freebird rules. They do have freebird rules. And so I don't if I add one LB. person, if I'm just, I'm just because I have a backup. But I'm just saying, can I add one person to the other side of that tag match, making it a six? As the author of the image, uh, <laughs> I only added those two guys because I was lazy to look up for Xavier Woods' image. There you go. <laughs> so it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because of me that it's the fine. It's going to be just those two guys. So I, I'm okay with Amen yeah. considering it being three guys. Eamon of Dynasty, who you're going to add to this? I'm praying it's Carmella, so go ahead and make your move. Well, I'm praying it's Mark. <laughs> I, was thinking, I, I, was thinking it was Car- I was thinking Carmella, too, and I'm like, an intergender pass, that's fine. But um, uh, I'm going to go with the events of, uh, of Raw last night. Uh, it will be the whole new day against Enzo Amore, Colin Cassidy, and Mark Henry. Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay. Eamon, Eamon, I applaud you. I'm glad I didn't give you the jar of mid-garters. I'll thank you later. There it goes. All right. The Riz is up. I'm up. Garza, you and the jar of mid-garters are on deck. Hey, um, hey, take away that Ambrose Triple H Hornswoggle match, please. The whole thing? Oh, I have, oh, damn. Oh, no, I have no, plans no, for that one, one. Riz. Damn thing. <laughs> All right, it's in marker now. You got to go up with something. <laughs> I would like, please. Yes, please is really going to help. <laughs> Kalisto, ooh, <laughs> in a suit. No, no. <laughs> with a little top hat on. No, no. <laughs> Versus Cowboy Cuerno. <laughs> versus Sin Cara. Oh. Oh. How does your dragons explode? <laughs> dragons explode for the United States title. Mass versus Mass. Mass versus Mass and U.S. title. Mass versus be the best slash worst match ever. <laughs> I think I think I think Dallas would enjoy this. I think Texas yeah. would love this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's in Texas. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm playing to the people. That's right. Play to the Tex-Mex. Give you're those Tex-Mex some you're in, Dallas, you're in Dallas, though. You're not in, like, South Texas. But anyway. <laughs> All right, I understand. It's, it's like saying you're this part of the South. I wonder if two Texans on this show. <laughs> um, okay, Garza, it is time for you. To have your name drawn from the Jar Mid Carter Sorg, you're on deck. Hey, hey, by the way, please, please don't show this to Jen. Oh, I, I think she'll be happy to have a fresh start because 
she was not pleased at all with good. that. Good. She was not pleased with Dean going up against a possible WWE champion. She was a little concerned, especially after watching Dean get battered by Brock Lesnar. She was a little concerned about his chances against Hornswoggle. All right. Here we go. Ted Dame. Now, now if you if you folks uh, have been following the wrestling show, you know which Ted Names are in this jar. Mm. Wait, is Sin Cara one of these ones? No, Sin Cara was not in the jar. Wait, maybe he was. Let me check. Or Kalisto? No, Kalisto ain't no mid Carter man. Come on. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. I mean, no, Sin Cara wasn't in the jar. Okay, know. good. All Give right. it to me. Give it to Jars me. Jars are you ready? All right, I'm going to reveal this for everybody. Oh, baby. It's your lucky day. Yeah. Axel. 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 <laughs> the chains are off. Oh, the, the chains are off. The chains are off. off. <laughs> you okay. Get you get okay. You uh, can I got work little, with this. You can work with this. They are off, my friend. Okay, I, I got a little story the, of how I was coming to this match. So my – okay, to start off, Joe Taker removed that match. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> no. We are going to get Krista Joseph to send Matanza down to eat your guts. <laughs> Uh, my gosh. <laughs> Wait, wow. After after Pentagon Jr. breaks both of your arms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and after get... Sexy Star breaks your heart. That really oh. fucks me. Do I get a lick by Chuna though? No. Garza, are you sure you want to do this? Do it. Please, no. Yes. No, it would have been to wait. It was one month away from retirement, <laughs> damn it. Someone give him <laughs> I, I, Yeah, I don't want to see that matchup. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Garza, is this because I gave you the jar? Oh. It's so personal. Sure. I love it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so okay, now that was story time with, with Garza. I initially wanted to, to recreate one of my fantasy matches of Kurt Angle and Daniel Bryan, but since Daniel yeah, Bryan is now retired, uh, we cannot do it. Then I thought, oh, well, I can do Chris Jericho versus... Uh, Kurt Angle, but Chris, uh, I now I have to work with the with the jar of mid cars, so it's Axel. Now you've been set, you you're thinking Kurt Angle doesn't work for this company, but his more younger replacement does, and that's Chad Gable. So Ooh. now we're getting oh. Curtis Axel versus Chad Gable. Ooh. Oh, oh, God! Hopefully, hopefully Did you put it like that, that way. Hopefully I can come back in later weeks and just change Axel for Jericho. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I just come over this chat. <laughs> this, <laughs> this place. This is this is like, more than, like our Daniel Bryan. Yeah. What, what was hard? Bryan what was harder? Daniel Bryan retiring or seeing Joe versus Taker bite the bullet? There? <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, actually, Daniel Bryan just saying. <laughs> what? Damn you, Garza. Uh, Sorgatron, you're up. John, you are on deck. Oh, remind me again, uh, just real quick. Remind me again what the the brand new matches are. What 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 are the matches that? Oh, so which matches you don't want to undo before the end of the round because then someone will come hunting for you with a with a wheel of NXT tag teams or something like that. Or, right, right, right. <laughs> something like that. Um, but but just so I know who's out of play. Um, basically, um. Riz created Kalisto versus Sin Cara. Garza created Curtis Axel versus Chad Gable. And um, what's his name? Eamon added Mark Henry to uh, the Enzo and Big Cass versus the New Day. Whatever his name is. Excellent. That guy. Axel and Chad Gable. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> I, got, I got a couple different ways. But I think in the end, what we're going to do. I think what we're gonna do. I'm looking at. I'm looking at this match with Vince McMahon in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I like. I, I can't. I can't have this. The guy's 70 years old. I. I. You're, no. you're, you're no. right. Rowan Reigns has got to go. Uh. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know that that loser of the Rock should. Oh no no no. I think I think the new. No 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 no. I I, I think the new Samoan SWAT team should stay together. But um. Uh, Samoan SWAT team. <laughs> 
Wait, is up. somebody actually going to add Ming to this one? Too? <laughs> Please tell me you're replacing. Oh. Does he have a legend? Please tell me you're replacing Vince and Harper with the Usos because that will be. <laughs> can we, can we, can we, can, does, does Ming? Does King Haku have a legends contract? Does it count? Is, is, he is, is he in there? Last show. Does, does anybody have a Ming super card uh, that, that, that 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 makes you think that he signed with the company? Um, no, uh, no, we're going to take out. We're going to ask Vince. No, 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 no. That's not happening. That's not happening. Although I may, I may, I don't know if this is a this is a better age choice. But since he just he just came in play, I'm going to throw the Undertaker in that spot. Ooh. Make up you're your story, Vince, and you're replacing him with the Undertaker. Yes, yes, and you can tag team the Undertaker and Luke Harper. Make up your storyline. In my mind, something happens where Luke Harper. Uh, again, kind of talking that Daniel, he's the next Daniel Bryan thing that we talked about in Big Question, and right. uh, and 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 somehow he aligns with the Undertaker, and make up your storyline from there. I don't know. Man, I just... it, man it actually makes more sense than Luke Harper and Vince McMahon. <laughs> it really does. We could have gotten corporate Harper. You didn't want to <laughs> see that. I had him in a suit. He was in a suit. Uh, He's not in a suit anymore. If, if I can, can I tell you the, the the decision I was going to make going into this? Sure, sure. I was going to replace Hornswoggle with Mark Henry in the salmon suit. Oh, really? <laughs> it would have been Why easy for you, Garza. Suits? You just had to find the picture. It's it. Nothing, you didn't have to make anything. Like a suit. Yeah, you wouldn't have to hide them either. So that that that's what I got, Matt. Good job, uh, John. I uh, hope this makes sense. Mad Mike, you're on deck. All right. Well, uh, I got to say, Garza kind of screwed me. I had something planned for Joe and Taker, but... Um, to no avail. Never mind. Um, mm-hmm. I have a real answer, a sarcastic answer. Um, if, if I wanted to be an asshole, I'd put Titus O'Neil and Darren Young into the most uh, hardcore match of all time, but that's not going to happen because um, mm-hmm. they broke up apparently. We didn't know that. Um, but I do want you so to take – Slater Gator. It was said. Oh, I know. Titus O'Neil has some breakup issues. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I – I want you to get rid of Breeze and Regal from me. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I see Breeze going because <laughs> Regal is injured. I'm so sad that it made it, made it so long. It was about to get to it. <laughs> it was one month to retirement, damn it. Uh, All right. Uh, John, don't come back. You don't have to apologize. All hurt feelings are welcome. Here. It's fine. So uh, I, I see that. Luke Harper is by himself. So No, no, no. He's no, tag team no, with The Undertaker, no. so it's okay. I meant from his family. So oh, yeah. No oh. one wants those people. On I, I want to put Bray Wyatt mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in a singles match versus Apollo Crews. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay. Wow. Now you're playing. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. That's a good play. Well played. Well played. What a well, mess. Man, Mike. What Here a mess. Oh. There's nothing but scorched earth. <laughs> behind you right now. All right. I, this I, is I, the kind of killing field round I was hoping for, and we're getting it. All it. right. Matt, I, yeah. I have an opinion question for you. I have two moves in mind. Would you yes. like me to make an enemy or to make a friend? I always go make enemies. In make okay, enemies. so that match Garza made is fucking off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the Garza's going to be back. All right. That's good. That's good. I love it. That's, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. That match Garza made, the jar of mid cars is obsolete now. I gave him the jar. He mishandled the jar. <laughs> this is now. And this you is know what? Cute. And you Garza. know what? Matt, to make amends... I am going to book someone from that jar. Oh. And right I? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm going to take Stardust, mm-hmm. and I'm going to give him the one-on-one match I've personally been dreaming of with Stephen Amell. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I know. Didn't we have this match? Like, were we supposed to, like? This was one of the first matches that we had for the Mayhem Mania. Like, oh, that's the first one. No, it wasn't. First one. Oh, I don't think it was on play. No, yet. Then it was. No, then it was changed. No. Then it was changed into the Gold Dust. No, no, we had Stardust versus Gold Dust. I think Stardust. Uh, yeah, Stardust versus Gold Dust was strong. Garza, congratulations! You'll be back next week. <laughs> Thank um, you. Go last. 
and uh, I will have concocted a delicious punishment for someone. Um, and maybe maybe you can help collaborate with me on on that. Um, what you think maybe would be appropriate for people. For whoever you decide to bring up, Matt, Mike, you should way. come back to next week. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'll take the hit. That's fine. Um, Matt, do you want, do you want to know what my other move would have been if you told me to make a friend? What would your friend move have been? I would have, I, you know, I think we can do a little bit better with AJ Styles. So I would have taken him out of the Nakamura match, and in his place, I would have put Brock Lesnar. Oh no, not like do Japan. Uh huh. Oh yeah. That would have been oh. fun. That would have been fun. All right. Um, so I'm going to recap the card here. It's a mess. Here we go. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> Stardust versus Stephen Amell. Bray Wyatt versus Apollo Crews. The New Day versus Enzo Big Cass and Mark Henry. Bailey versus Becca, Becky Lynch versus Sasha versus Char Char. Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Kalisto versus Sin Cara. Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles and Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Luke Harper and The Undertaker. Leia. <laughs> so somebody keep in mind, Christian in that match. Keep in mind, this was the first week I think that matches could have moved up. Nothing's moving up. Oh no, nothing's moving up this week. Everything <laughs> died. <laughs> you guys have lots of scorched dirt. Really bad. Everywhere. But good times. Wow. Um, yeah. If a, if a match survives more than three rounds, it graduates to a super card of, you know, permanence. And the and person then that made that. Pray that we get eight of those cards out there. And the person who creates the match gets to come back and create a new match the next week. We almost got Christian Joseph to come back and create a new match, but it's not going to happen now. <laughs> we could have gotten dark. Dark though, maybe, maybe Ellie Eho, <laughs> Del Cueto will come back anyways. And oh, I'm, and I'm, then, I'm, maybe, I'm going to tweet him right now and tell him you, that Garza ruined his fantasy. <laughs> ask him if he will come on the show, and then Garza, you give him the punishment. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, I. I think he could do. I think Krista Joseph could do something really interesting with Adam Rose. <laughs> let's see what it was. Let's ask, ask Krista Joseph hypothetically what he would do to create a match with. Just hypothetically, what would he do with this guy right here? What would he do with? This oh, guy? he's Slater. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. All right. That is the Mayhem Mania. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, of course, all this will be written up and graphically presented thanks to uh, Antonio Garza of the WrestlingRevolution.com. Thank you so much for this kick ass graphics going on over there uh, making that super, super awesome.